Hello everybody, it's Max here at Modern Classics and uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity to talk about the differences between a Series 1 launch of Fulvia and a Series 2 Fulvia. Uh, I happen to have both in the shop right now, the one on the right, the Series 2 is actually sell has sold and uh, it will be leaving the shop tomorrow headed to its new owner. Uh, the one on the left is currently for sale and uh, like I said I'd like to just show you guys the differences between the two. Uh, on the left we have a 1970 Fulvia, that's a Series 1, that's a 1.3 Rally S, so it's the sport model. Uh, and on the right we have a 1972 Fulvia, that's a Rally as well. Uh, there's minor differences, they really didn't change much. Uh, I, I Really in this video it's just going to be mostly about the visual appearances, uh, changes, um, not so much the technicals. Uh, as uh, I'm not an expert, but I thought it was kind of neat having them both here. So uh, let's just hop into it. The first thing that you're going to notice is the front ends are a little bit different. This one, being the Series 1, has the metal grill surround and metal grill slats. Also has a different bumper style. Does not have any impact strips on it. And notice the turn signal is only on the fender and not on the bumper like it is on the Series 2. The Series 2 has a plastic grill surround that extends all the way to the headlights. And it has the impact strips on the bumper and turn signals with repetitive signals on the fender. The other thing you'll notice, take a look at the hood on the Series 2 versus this spear on the Series 1. These cars were designed in-house at Lancho with an in-house designer. Another thing you'll notice too are the differences in the wheels. These have the cool kind of dog dish style hubcaps on steel wheels, whereas these are just uh, a little bit of a different design with a smaller hubcap. You can see the 1.3S emblem displayed on the hood here. I'll open up the engine compartments just so you can see the differences there. This one happens to have a mirror on the driver's door. This one, when it was repainted, we didn't elect to put the mirror back on, um, but I do have the mirror to put that on should somebody be interested in doing so. Uh, let's keep walking around, show you the rear. The rears are very similar, except uh, this one on the Series 2 has the impact strip on the bumper, whereas the Series 2 <coughs> excuse me, does not. Take a look at the Series 2 interior. The seat design was very similar throughout the model range. This one has an aftermarket stereo. Different style shift boot and the biggest thing uh, is the 5 speed transmission upgrade. So this Series 2 has the 5 speed transmission. Also this fuse box and uh, was set up right here in the center of the dashboard with a vent in your HVAC controls. Turn to levers versus switches. Also has a different steering wheel style. The door cards remained the same. Let you take a look at the turn signals and let headlight stock was changed as well. And we'll take a look at the Series 1. Different style steering wheel. This one just had your turn uh, indicator stock there with your headlights being uh, switches. Like I said, similar seat style and door cards. You can see the different dash configuration with the vents being these awesome little dials here. This is a mahogany wood dash and steering wheel. Mahogany veneer on the dashboard. Biggest change you can see there are the switches for your HVAC. This car does not have a radio. And it has the four speed transmission. Uh, this dial here controls the brightness of the dashboard lights. 
which is a fun little feature. And then this one, I believe, uh, controls the uh, sprayers for your windshield wipers. This here is your light switch. And then these are, like I said, your HVAC controls and whatnot. Or I'm sorry, your fan controls. And then this down here is your HVAC hot and cold. It's gonna be hard to see in this light. Those are for your, your heater and uh, vents, cool air vents. Try and pop the hood one-handed. The hood latches always to the left, pretty far back. The hood prop remained in the same position. And there we go. Thanks for bearing with me there. Both of these cars being the Sport have the 1.3 liter uh, V4 engine, four cylinder, front wheel drive. They produce about 90 horsepower and they are extremely fun to drive. The transmission on this Series 2 is a five-speed transmission that was the biggest upgrade. These are Solex carburetors. The Solexes were used across the model range. I believe the Series 2 would have a, a ventilated brake system versus the Series 1 not having that. The engine on this one has been uh, seen a little bit of an upgrade with this oil cooler here. That is not factory, but it does have the factory Solex carburetors. So just super neat little cars. I thought it was a treat having both of them in here. I thought you guys on YouTube would enjoy seeing the differences between the two. Like I said, I'm sure I'm missing a bunch of stuff. I'm not an expert, just a enthusiast that happens to have a dealer's license and some of these cars for sale. So uh, if you're interested in learning more or if you know more than me, please feel free to comment. I'm sure you guys will. And I'm looking forward to learning more. Uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed these videos. Thanks for watching.